Peter Von Pandy here. Hey, I'm just humming the James Bond theme song because otherwise I'm going to get a copyright infringement for using the actual song. Um, who didn't want to be like James Bond? You know, when I'm cruising in my tuxedo and Aston Martin, I often wish I had a spy camera. So I was stoked to see this one. It's by Spy Crushers. It's a pro series spy pen camera and it's in 720p so you get hd uh not 1080p um, but i wanted to unbox it here for you because uh, i will test it out and show you some video but wanted to just take a look at what it looks like right out of the gate so it comes in like a little pen box uh, magnetic closure here and there's the pen uh, black you know it's it's actually not overly big like i thought it was going to be you know for example i have some nice pens and this one would not you know catch your attention and make you think that it's a spy pen um, in fact it looks like a pretty nice pen there's a small pinhole camera there uh, power button up here which looks just like an inlaid piece of uh, metal um, so I did figure out that this little slider here is a cover for the lens of the camera. So if you don't want to shoot something and you want to be sure you're not shooting it because you're doing something nefarious, you can cover the lens just like that. For comparison, here is a Waterman pen. A little longer, but this is a capped pen, but width-wise, pretty much the same. Here is a kind of the standard cross type of pen that you'd expect, again, a twist. And a little taller, but um, it may be just a little wider than this, but you know, if you work in the professional world and have seen people bust out a pen, it doesn't feel overly heavy, and so you do have that spy type of uh, equipment. Um, so, but the fact that it can take photos and videos is kind of cool. What else do we have in the box? So, some instructions here: uh, a micro US or um, no, it's a mini USB cable. And then it comes with a couple of pen refills. And these look like just your standard pen refills, except much, much shorter. Uh, I'm sure you could buy these. And I'm sure if you're doing a lot of writing, these aren't going to last a long time. But I'm sure you could buy the full-length pen uh, refills and use them until they get down here. Actually, you might kind of want to rob them or cannibalize them out of, you know, heavily used pens. But I'm sure you could buy these. And it looks like there's a little cap that... Uh, allows you to screw these in or retains them in place. Okay, so you get two of those. You know, oh, there is a refill already in there. And you have to twist the bottom, which makes some sense because the pen has to come to come apart uh, to be able to get to the electronic pieces. And then, let's take a look. So the top one screws there. There is your mini USB connection and comes with a 16 gig micro sd card so that's pretty cool let's see if it's charged up to turn it on i think you hold down this button until something blinks i'm not sure what the light is oh there it is so i think it's on and then if you wanted to take a picture let's read the instructions Take a photo, it says, while in standby mode, top or press the top button once. The indicator light will flash once, taking one picture. Repeat to take more. So then we've got the indicator light here, and I'm going to tap it. Flash. So we should have a couple pictures of the pen box. And then to record video, while in standby mode, press and hold the top button until the indicator light starts to blink and immediate re immediately release. So we're going to hold it, and I'm going to release it. And the indicator light will blink through its program sequence and go out. You are now recording video. Press the top button once to stop video recording and return to standby mode. And I'm going to release it. And the indicator light will blink through its program sequence and go out. You are now recording video. Press the top button once to stop video recording and return to standby mode. To turn it off, press and hold the top button until the indicator light blinks through its program sequence and powers down. So I'm going to just hold it. Blink, blink, blink. And looks like it went off. In fact, the looks like it uh, had a little yellow light there too, indicating it was powering down. Um, it does say, though, 
auto power off. While in standby mode, after two minutes of non-usage, pen cam will activate its auto shut off feature and power down. So pretty cool. Let's try taking some photos and video and, and see how this thing works. Okay, it's raining out a little bit, but let's see. Got a tree here and uh, plants. You can see there. I'm walking right up to stuff. So, hopefully. Alright, so I'm going to walk up to this tree here. Now I'm standing about five feet from it. Got some bushes and grass and greenery. Looks like there is a corn on the cob there that has been chewed up by a squirrel. And then stuff around it. So it'll be interesting to see how well this camera handles motion. And if I were to walk around over to the stump and whatnot. Now, I'm also holding the pen in front of me, so probably does, it's not going to be the most stable thing in the world, but it'll probably be pretty similar to clipping in your front coat pocket. So I think the microphone is on the back of the pen, so I don't know how good the sound pickup will be since it's kind of facing away from me but I could certainly do some selfies with this thing I assume all right once you shoot your videos then you can plug it directly into your computer via the mini USB or you if you have a um, a card slot where you can just move this out that's great it'll find it as an additional drive and it's pretty simple look finds it just like a flash drive and then there are two folders only photos and videos so if you whatever you've taken are going to be in there and they're going to be in um, kind of date stamped uh, files now I don't know how to change the date on it mine wasn't correct just taking a look at the video I was actually pretty impressed uh, there's no optical image stabilization, uh, but it does take it in 720p. Uh, the colors are a little surreal, but I'll tell you what, at 720p, it's taking better video than my early generation iPhone. So it's definitely usable video. And if you're doing an expose or just trying to record something um, quickly and uh, doing it from the convenience of your front pocket, it's pretty good. Next, we'll take a look at photos taken with the camera. And I can tell you that the pictures are probably less impressive than the video to me, but I'm not sure exactly what resolution they're taking the photos at, but um, you know, it, it takes photos and those really look like an early generation iPhone, but for video, I think is really where it shines. Overall, I really like this pen. You know, it's, it's amazing that uh, technology like this, uh, you know, in the spy age and the Cold War age was probably unimaginable. But now you can buy it. It is a usable pen. Like I said, twist the bottom tip here to get your pen tip out. Um, and then you can have a, a camera, a video camera, and a still shots camera uh, right in your pocket. It's not overly big. It doesn't look uh, crazy or suspicious. So uh, just really cool. It makes it feel like a, a spy. And um, I really, really dig it. I always wanted something kind of like this for whatever reason. 720p spy pen camera. I dig it. Peter Von Panda. Out.